stop talking about the glass of the ceiling. Kamala Harris should be elected based on her merits, not on, on her gender. Aren't you thrilled to see a woman running for president? Isn't it great? Like the many women, I've faced variation on this question multiple times since Kamala Harris became the presumptive Democratic nominee. I know I'm supposed to say yes and to possibly add, add the yay. But I don't particularly care that the Democratic candidate is a woman. I care about having the best, most electable Democratic candidate possible, and I suspect many Americans, male and female, feel the same way. As my colleague Jeremy Peters reported on August 3rd, voters are looking for electability, not representation. In interviews, Harris supporters of all races said they were concerned that if she talked more directly about her race, she risked feeding the backlash that has been building over diversity. He wrote, the year 2020, in other words, is as over as 2016. If President Biden had pulled out of the race months ago, other candidates, male and female, could have made a case for her qualification and electability and maybe had a better shot at the presidency. As the groovy as the vibe feels right now, all the mam mams and the jooms in the world can't cover for Harris' weaknesses or less than overwhelming vice presidential record. Noah will promoting her as possibly the first woman president to anything substantive to help her win. Most Americans don't put nearly as much importance on identity as Democratic leaders seem to think they do. According to Pew, 64% of Americans and 57% of women, even 43% of Democrats, uh, said electing a female president during their lifetime was not important or didn't matter. Rather than focusing on what Harris means to women, South and Asian Americans or black people, we should focus on what she might mean to all Americans.